What's going on you guys? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another division video. And this division video is going to be all you need to know about this month's division shield. The division shield is detailed sacred. Now yes, I did just complete the shield just now and this is how you get it. So this is completely underground. This is going to be the shield for July. So if you do not have the season pass and you do not have underground, then obviously you will not be able to complete the shield. I'm sure they have something planned to give like a free underground weekend or something. I'm sure they'll do something in the future. But for right now, the only way to get this is to have the season pass and to have the underground. Now, let's get into the shield itself. Now, to complete the shield sacred, the objective is to complete 10 phases in the underground, get to level 10, and kill 10 hunters in the underground. Now, a lot of you that have had the season pass or have even played underground have already been pretty close to rank 10. If not, you're already maxed out. Now, the other two, however, are a little tricky. Now, as everyone remembers, Shepard was given to everybody. All you had to do was liberate the base of ops. However, the other three we had to do over again. Even though we already killed the name bosses, we already did the HVTs, and we've already done Dark Sun in the past, we had to do it over again. However, in Sacred, the rank... Obviously, your rank's still there, so that is given to you. You don't have to get 10, you know, underground caches, or you don't have to level that up 10 times. You just have to have rank 10. So a lot of us are already getting that from the start. However, you do have to kill the 10 hunters, and you do have to complete 10 phases in the underground. So, I'm going to take you guys to the underground, and I'm going to show you guys how I did it personally at the end of this video. And uh, we'll get into the rest of the details into the shield in a second. But if you are new to this channel and you do enjoy these videos, smash that like, subscribe to the channel, and I will give you guys more content on the way to the Division 2. Now you guys can see they fixed the timer for the next shield. That will be in August. Now the shield says 27 days. And now we have the shield sacred. So, with each shield, you get a patch, and you get this audio lock. Can you imagine trying to navigate all this shit without Isaac? Oh, hell no. We'd be screwed without it. I may have bitched about it when we first got activated, but I'm a believer now. <laughs> I hated it at first, too. Felt like someone was always looking over my shoulder. Yeah, and the chatter. Warning, agent. I swear I was hearing that in my goddamn sleep. It's a miracle we didn't throw those watches away. Yeah, good thing we didn't. All the stuff we use Isaac for now, environmental scans, materials analysis, motion detection, it's been a lifesaver. Yeah, I mean, we're trained and we've got the gear and all that, but Isaac helps put us over the top. Without him, we'd be in a world of hurt. And that is the audio log for the new Shield in July called Sacred. Now, I already have the patch equipped, so let's go over and check that out. Here is the new sacred shield patch you get for the shield in July. And finally, upon completion of all the shields, you get a division shield cache. Now I have purposely not opened this up, so let's see what we get. Alright. A shoddy, reclaimer vest, and a tack mask. The only thing I'm really worried about is that 500 division tech and the 2000 phoenix credits. But overall, not bad. Now yes, um, I do tell everyone in all my sh in all my chats on Xbox and on Facebook and on YouTube that I do get 
I I did get another house. And it's got hurried, so I'll probably do like a deadly hurried. But I'm telling you guys, doing the underground does... I get houses all the time from underground. And I got it again this morning. Now, to finish off with this shield video, we'll go down here and I will show you guys my strategy and my way I completed this shield. It took me about uh, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Wasn't too bad. Uh, it was very easy as long as you know what you're doing and as long as you have the build to cover it. So down here, hopefully I don't get stuck in the loading screen. But down here I will show you guys my build and how I did it and I'll complete this video and let you guys get back to it. I do have videos on all the other shields so at the end of the video I will have links to all those and I'll go ahead and put all the links in the description below um, if you guys are having trouble with the other shields or want to know how I personally got them as quick as I did. Now I usually try to get all these shields done the first day and go ahead and give you guys all the information as soon as possible. So make sure you do have that bell activated under the subscriptions so you get my videos as soon as possible. Alright, so the build I ran today is this build, my six piece reclaimer. I ran this and it did not fault me at all. Even with the five directives, as long as you have that box down, it doesn't matter. Even if another player, like say one player has an immune station to hold off for your skill haste to give you another box. It's still a great build to run. Um, if you guys uh, are uh, familiar with my channel, you know I do love to run Final or uh, Firecrest down here. Final Measure is another great build to use. But uh, like I saw this morning and like I see all the time, uh, everyone's still using their striker builds. But for me, I ran this Reclaimer build, Healer build, helped everyone out, and we got through it just fine. So my strategy was very simple. I did the three normal matchmaking, and then I did two separate three-phase operations. So this gives you three, four, five, and then you get the other two, six, seven, eight, and then I, I went ahead and did another three-phase just for more hunters to help people out. So I actually did 11 instead of the 10. But if you want to do it this way, just do the three matchmaking. And then go ahead and redo a three-phase operation two more times. And you'll be done. Alright. And as you guys know, you get those three-phase operations, you get those hunters. However, I get hunters in these daily operations all the time. So, yes, I do the three phase three times just to help other people out. So, yes, I do get 11. So, you could skip over one of these daily ops. However, I personally encountered hunters on each of these three. And then the other three phase operations, it was just more for loot. And, in fact, I did get the house off of the three phase five directive hard. But... It's your boy Kamikaze Von Doom. I won't take up any more of your time. Go ahead, get those shields, get your farming boots out, and then come see me in the dark zone. But alright, it's your boy Kamikaze Von Doom. See you in the next one. Peace.